Welcome back to my player. We had, uh, well, yesterday was weird, wasn't it? Two draws we hated, and then a draw we absolutely loved. Duh, football. What a game. We have Everton at home to start. They're right with us in the league, so if we lose this one, we'll absolutely go down at least one place. Then it's Bournemouth away, and we have our Champions League future in our hands. All we need to do is avoid defeat against Napoli and we will be through to the knockout stages of the competition. But fitness and fatigue is an issue at present. So I will try my best to make sure I'm at my most fit for that Napoli game. But I want to make sure we get points in the league first. So we can get an early lead against Everton and an early lead against Bournemouth. Then I might take myself off early a couple of times. We'll wait and see how things transgress. Uh, or progress. Transgress. Progress and transpire in the same word. Nine goals so far this season for me. But I'd love to add a tenth and maybe more throughout the course of today's episode. If we can, then do drop the video a like. Make sure you subscribe to anyway miss out on any more of this save. And if I can have three, if not four shots on target, then surely we get a goal. No, it's sure a T raise at Cam. Okay, show the sure as he raised the man in cam spot today. What is it? In the Glory Hunter save on the main channel, his hair doesn't work from the telebroadcast cam. But thankfully, from this camera angle on this save, it does. He has hair here. He's not half bald in continually changing areas of his head. I'll get flattened there, but it was a fair challenge. I'm trying to win it back. And we have done with a nice interception there. We'll still try and get this goal to go 1-0 up. Can I spin the defender the same way we spun the Liverpool defender at the end of the last game? We can. And the finish is there too. A milestone 10th Premier League goal of the season for Manchester United's number 10. We lead at home against Everton. Carbon copy of the goal against Liverpool at the end of the day yesterday. Find Robertson there nicely. Play 1-2 with Garnacho, who's not got there. Richie beats him to it. Oh, he's taking his time here. The keeper, he's kicked it against me. It hit my arm. Alto Bayendir gets very lucky there. That could quite easily have just deflected off me straight into the back of the net. I'm kind of glad it didn't, though, because if he had done that and I'd have had it disallowed for handball, I'd have been particularly annoyed. Here's Colin Moani squaring it back to Modo. He's just come off the bench. And Solomon... I heard the net ripple. I thought it scored a worldie. It's just nestled behind the goal between the advertising hoarding and the back of the net. And it just brushed that back of the net on its way over. Thankfully, it was over. Ten minutes into the second half, that was very close to an Everton equaliser. Colin Moani. Berengaya. Here's Modere. This is risky, but I'm going to request the sub. We're 1-0 up with 15 minutes to go. And I'm thinking about not even the next game against Bournemouth. I'm thinking about saving a bit of stamina here and saving a bit of stamina against Bournemouth. The only game on my mind at the minute is the Napoli one. We really want to make it through to the knockout stages of the Champions League. Oh, I can't believe that pass has been intercepted. Thankfully, that one has as well. And by taking ourselves off with, well, as it happens, quite... A minimal amount of time left. I was hoping to get myself off before this. Oh, Jesus Christ. My passing's been so bad. I'm not going to chase after that. I want to save my stamina. Please don't score from here, Everton. It was such a simple pass that I ballsed up as well. Will Fish has intercepted that very well indeed. The ball's just not looking like it's going to go out. So I'm, I'm just going to meander around the pitch for the next five minutes. If the ball does go out, great. If it doesn't, then I'm just going to walk everywhere. I'm going to go full Dimitar Berbatov mode. That's not going to find a teammate. Somehow Vimmer gets to that. We don't deserve that at all. Sure, Atire's shot is blocked well by LT by India. And now we'll go off for Iker Bravo, who last time he played, scored a hat-trick. We'll watch the rest of the game because there's only two minutes left. And maybe Bravo can show me up again. Love it if he does. That was off Modere. It'll be another corner. Will Fish has gone off for Scott McTominay as centre-back as well. So there's the opportunity to be much stronger in defence for the next 90 seconds. I wish they'd just start McTominay at centre-back. 
considering we only have the one centre-back above 70 rated. Ugarte to Shoritire. Have a go. There you go. Shoritire's hair's bug buggered up again. He's hit the bar. It's from this camera angle, that one hairstyle just doesn't work. It's a nice bring down by Colin Moani. Do not even dream about equalising now, Everton. Ref, please, just don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Please. Thank God. Three points at home in the Premier League and a clean sheet. Let's go and do that again against Bournemouth, please. Three points in the Prem. Yay. Oh, what? Actually, I'll take that. Drop down to the subs bench and in, as it happens, in actual fact, actually serves a purpose and will do us a favour here, won't it? Poor managerial performance. I think that's... Is that harsh? Is it not? I'll say we're all behind Eric Ten Hag. We just picked up three points. I'm not sure what our league position looks like now, but we're challenging. Oh, we made a big healthy profit from the invest in the uh, tech startup. £645,000 invested. £774,000 returned. Lovely stuff. We're over £5 million once again. We would have been much higher, but I, uh, I kind of bought... Kind of bought like a four million pound mansion. Nowhere near the 21 and a half million pounds needed for the yacht. So we should continue on. But I don't actually mind being on the bench here for this game against Bournemouth. I will train a little bit so that we can get ourselves in towards the starting lineup. So that then if my performance is good enough, we can earn that start back again. If not, then hopefully I can or do I just do I run the risk? Do I run the risk of not not being in the starting lineup for Napoli? No, I'm I'm, I'm still going to play like this. I'm going to put in a performance. We're one nil down for Christ's sake! One nil down away from home against Bournemouth. Brilliant. Coming on at Cam for Andreas Sheldrup behind DK Bravo, getting the chance to play alongside him. I believe for the first time actually, he scored a hat trick last time. He was uh, getting a start. No, I, I must have been, I was on the pitch when he scored a hat trick, wasn't I? So it's not the first time I've played with him at all. Uh, cross success rate is what I'll go for. Don't even think about making it 2 0 from here. I'll be livid. Thank you, Gallardo, for the save. So we've just over half an hour to turn this around now at Dean Court. Here's Adamola Lookman in towards the area. Into the area. Fabio Silva squares it. Straight to Vimmer, thank God. That could so easily have been 2 0 Bournemouth. Oh, he's going to go here, Bravo, and I'm going to look from over the top, but falls to Vimmer, Ugarte. And what I need to do is make sure I get my objectives here, but conversion rate and cross success rate aren't necessarily the sort of objectives that I'm going to adequately be able to achieve, so I think I might actually end up dropping onto the bench for the Napoli game as well here, because that's kind of screwed me over with those objectives, unless, unless I can get the, was it seven? I need to get a seven. If I get a seven, I'll be fine. Here's Adam Ola Lookman though, looking to get a second for Bournemouth. Just need to get a seven rating test. That's all you need to do. One goal or one assist, surely should do that. And earn us a point as well. It's typical that we get the win against Everton and on the back of that, as we rise up the league, we're going to knock ourselves back down the league by not beating Bournemouth. Potentially even losing to Bournemouth. Anthony hopefully will help improve things a little bit. I get a block on that. We're going to get rid of this. Slowly. Hiker Bravo. Back to Mateus Nunez. Bravo again. Come on, I'll call for this. Oh, I'm not going to get it from there though. Bravo doesn't really leak. Right, come on. Let's build. Anthony. Out to me is the obvious. And he's there in the middle again. I'm just going to drive into the space. Do I go solo? No, I won't. He's begging for it there. Oh, what a goal that would have been. Hell my breath. Ortega Moreno makes a very good save. It is near post. Anthony does not equalise for us. Billing off for them is good news for us. And there's loads of Man United bodies in here. None of which are on the end of that cross. Get to it first. Nunez does well. They always try and force it to you. And it never works in that situation. Very rarely, anyway. Fish, Nunez, Anthony's there. 
you got to pass the ball there, mate. you really got to pass the ball. Time is running out on the south coast. And we're still 1-0 down. It's Mario Hamoso for Bournemouth. Vega. Anthony. It's not our Anthony. It's their Jaden Anthony at the minute is making the difference offensively here. Play that left. Come on, run, Ches. Oh, and there's just so many defenders back there. Rojas gets in. He's the one to tackle me. I'm not going to get my seven, am I? Not at this rate. I'm going to be on the bench for bloody Napoli. Do not. Do not. Lose that game, Ches. I don't mind losing this one if it means we win that one. Why has he played the pass? I've scored. I'm happy enough. But why the shit has Anthony played a first-time pass here? This is what I hate about the game. Oh, I had enough of ranting about gameplay in the last episode. What is he doing? You've played an 88-rated player through one-on-one -on -one about the penalty spot on his favoured foot. There is no way in hell that he would play that one too. Ever. In the history of the world of sport, would anyone play that pass? Jaden Anthony. Don't even think about it, Bournemouth. They're thinking about it. They haven't done it yet, though. Gallardo makes the save. I've got my 7.2 plus. Or got my 7 plus. I'm on a 7.2. So with that goal... With that goal, I will start against Napoli. Oh, my God. Wouldn't jump for that. Wouldn't even challenge... Saved again. Get rid. Get rid. Get rid. Get rid. Kick it. Fucking hell. We're going to get a point against Bournemouth. It's better than it could have been. I called for it. Win this header. Mm, I called for it. You wouldn't play it to me. Vega. Don't even think about it. Don't foul him. Don't give them a last minute penalty. I'll be so annoyed. My face will be the same colour as their shirts. No! You scripted piece of shit! That's bollocks! That's utter, utter, utter bollocks! What is that animation from the goalkeeper? That is such bullshit! Such bullshit! What is he doing? He's 86 rated, first time shot from the edge of the box that's straight at him. That is utter wank. Has never, ever, ever been. I'm so sick of ranting about shit gameplay. Four, five, six years in a row. Fucking fix your game. Because it doesn't fucking work. Year on year. Fuck me. Jesus Christ. What a farce! It just, it completely ruins the game. Completely ruins the game. Three passes boosted to five in the opponent's half, away from home in a very cold, very snowy Naples. All we have to do, oh, I've lost my voice now. All we have to do is not lose this game. It's all we have to do. We could have started off with a goal. I want to win this. Three or four nil. Just to prove a fucking point. That'll do! Andreas Sheldrup with a fantastic header. And we are in front after five minutes. Don't think that that goal stops me being fucking enraged at your shithouse gameplay, though. Robertson and Alejandro Garnacho. Mateus Nunez. Around the corner. Garnacho again. We're in. Beat the defender with the effort. Beat the goalkeeper with a shot. Not even close. Straight at Sorrentino. Can't remember the scoreline when we played Napoli. I think we lost to them, didn't we? And heavily. Was it 3 or 4-1? Something like that, wasn't it, when we played Napoli last time? So we're very fortunate to even be in a position where we're actually ahead of them in the group stage at this point. We just got lucky that we had back-to-back -back games against Stau Bucharest that we were able to get the win from. And after drawing with Atletico Madrid twice, we've done just enough so far to keep ourselves in the top two in the group. 
And this is building nicely. Sheldrop's with me. Little back heel. There's the overlap. Robertson, I've called for the cross. He tried it at least. There's the option back. Garnacho goes towards the back end of the box. It's going to fall to Sheldrop. He's dummied that. Why would you dummy that? Just fucking take it, mate. I don't know you're going to do that. Shot blocked as Lani clears and Napoli do not go 2-0 down. Farad Skelia scored in the first game. Might contribute in the second. Fabinho from the edge of the box. Yellow card for the defender from the chop on me a long time ago. Zoloi ticks up, picks up the yellow card, sorry. Farad Skelia into Young Coombs. Back to Fabinho, Young Coombs again, good block. Another Napoli corner. Oh, ref! Fabinho might be in trouble here. No, just the yellow. That's two of their players now on a yellow card from chopping me. Done well enough to get something on that. Sheldrick's trying to force it to me, but Zolo's in the way. It's 1-1 one, one here, which is enough. It is enough. But with the way that Napoli scored against us last time, and the way that we struggled for goals of late. Rephrase. Struggled for wins of late. Goals have been there. We've just been conceding too many. Mateus Nunez. Get it out wide there. Garnacho. Go on, Sheldrop. Go on, Andreas. You're in. Yes! Manchester United. Two. Napoli. One. Napoli now need two more goals to go through. Now, at the risk of tempting fate, surely we can't go out from here. And the Castello's done well. Can I challenge for this? Yep. Do a front flip. Oh, nice flip. Gelhart in the box. Dangerous. Good save. Oh, and the man following in. Fabinho nearly had it hit him to go in the back of the net. Aslani off for them. 13 minutes left to go. Oh, you can do a first time pass now. You couldn't do that in yesterday's episode, could you? Nagate. Oh, why delay, though? Why delay the pass, you fucking moron? Mateus Nunez in the box. The game must feel sorry for me. Because we've battered Napoli here. And we lost 4 1 to them last time. We will be in the Champions League knockout rounds. I'd much rather have gotten something like a draw or a win against Bournemouth and drawn this one. But if it was a case of win that but lose this or win this and lose that, then I'm glad it was this way round. It's not even the result that's annoying. It's just the manner of it. It just shouldn't happen. It really just shouldn't happen from a quite simple... Gameplay mechanical point of view, it just shouldn't happen. Might as well have paper for hands. Caicedo inside to Ugarte. Well, we're going to return the favour to Napoli. They came to our place and hammered us. And we've come to theirs and done the same. Caicedo, I've asked for the cross. It stood up. The header's not there. Oh, Sheldrop, it would have been the fantastic way to finish the game. Good save by the keeper, who's now just done a fist pump, but he just lost 3-1, mate, and we're out of the Champions League, so hard fucking luck. We are through to the knockout rounds of the Champions League with Manchester United, and I am done with FIFA today, as you might well imagine. Now I have to go and relive that by editing it, but... Oh, I'll drop onto the bench, do I? Of course. Never mind. I'll train and get myself back into the starting lineup for the next episode, because, quite frankly, I think I deserve it. Where are we in the league now? Down to eighth. Just where I want to be. Uh, we're only we're only three points off fourth, though. There's still plenty of the Premier League season to go. Do we know we've got in the Champions League knockouts yet? Because presumably every game has been played. Oh, no, there's still going to be games on the Wednesday. Let me just quickly train and advance towards the next game and find out who we're going to get in the Champions League. This just one drill should put me back into the starting lineup and does. So we'll now advance past the Wednesday, and we should find out. We have in the first knockout stage of the Champions League, please be an easy draw. Don't kill me off. Barca fucking loner. <sighs> See you next time. Bye.